On this episode of Friday the 13th Biographies, Lar Park Lincoln. You may know her as Tina, the final girl with special powers that gave good old Jason a run for his money. But besides kicking Jason's ass, what else has Lar Park Lincoln been up to? She was born Lori Jill Park in Dallas, Texas on May 12, 1961. In 1981, she married Michael Lincoln. Her acting career began in 1985 when she landed her first role in the TV movie Children of the Night, playing Valerie, a young troubled prostitute. I hate her! I hate that house! She continued to act throughout the 80s, making several television appearances, including roles on the hit shows Hunter, Outlaws, and Highway to Heaven. I ever actually took algebra. <laughs> well, I've been invited to a party tomorrow night. It's at Ray Russo. He's the leader of the so-called in crowd. He's also the one that I think sold Rhonda Blake the garbage that killed her. Uh, you gotta be careful, Denise. We need proof before we start making arrests. This is my third high school in the past seven months. I know what I'm doing. Besides, Russo and his gang think they're too smart to get caught. In 1987, Laura appeared in the film House 2, the second story playing Kate. And in 1988, Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood, as Tina Shepard, a young girl with a troubled past who uses her special powers to do battle with Jason. It makes her a fun and entertaining combination. The film is also memorable as it was the first time Kane Hodder donned the hockey mask. Tina is easily one of the franchise's favorite final girls. Not only did she battle it out with Jason in 1988, but also Freddy Krueger, as she appeared in the Freddy's Nightmare episode, It's a Miserable Life. Yeah, Tina from Jason was in a Freddy. Sort of. Accident and you couldn't save them. My parents died here. No! He's dead! No. We're the only ones here, Karen. Relax, honey. It's okay. It's just the medication. From 1987 to 1991, she was busy portraying Linda Fairgate in the CBS soap opera Knott's Landing. This has become one of her most famous roles. It's my fault that your sons are naive. And somehow I've become mythically evil in your mind. But exactly how wicked can I be if both of your sons fell in love with me? What does that say about them? Either they like strong-willed women like me, like you, or they do anything, including marry someone as awful as you think I am to get out from under your thumb. Throughout the rest of the 90s, Laura appeared on such shows as Oprah, Geraldo, and 60 Minutes. In 1995, she guest starred on an episode of the hit show, Beverly Hills 90210. I could put in to have Steve permanently assigned to me. He's terrific. Sure. You can have him for as long as you like. Thank you. Hmm. Sadly, in 1995, her husband Michael passed away. Since then, she has moved back to Texas to raise her two children. But she has stayed busy. Once there, she began teaching acting classes and helping young filmmakers. Her Actors Audition Studios is one of the largest agencies in Texas, and her best-selling books have won several awards. Besides hanging out on QVC selling such items as the Freedom Bag, she's still been pretty active in the business, writing and executive producing. Over the years, Lars' career and personal battle with cancer have showed us time and time again that she's a very brave and strong woman, 
easily making Laura Park Lincoln one of our favorite final girls.